uh, Velociraptor coming off of a win from uh, last Rambat is Nikali play has been very methodical and very on point when it comes to his reactions and such. Crazy EX, however, once he's in, he's in. And uh, Cammy lets him get in really defiantly. It's going to be very no. interesting to see how this pans out. It's, going, it's definitely going to be interesting to see how both these players decide to approach the other without without the uh, aspect of a fireball being in their way. Yes, Nikali's going to have a seismo, but that doesn't necessarily play keep away all that often. You can get around that very easily. Fight! I'm going to take off. Oh, he does not? All right, here we go. We got one seismo to get off. And, and Ernest is in. Ernest He's got in. the corner. Oh, probably could have canceled that into a drill. And oh, no. In, so that's going to be uh, pretty convincing damage right there. Extremely convincing damage. Oh, he's looking for a dive kick. Now, now Velociraptor's got himself the V-Trigger. He turned the Kali to probably one of the better characters in the game now. Oh! Cat get caught with a cannon drill into an EX cannon spike to finish off the round. round gives Ernest that first round. Fight! Oh! Good read that... Good read that... Uh, Good read from Ernest recognizing that Velociraptor was going to just try to come in, challenged with a button right off the bat. Oh, and he's got Jimmy. another stun here, takes himself back out of the corner, going for big damage, goes in super. That might kill. I believe that is going to kill. And, no, oh, oh. commentator's curse, but it's not going to deny <laughs> Ernest Man. from taking that first Can match win. very convincingly. For those of y'all just tuning in, you blinked, the match is over. Round one. <laughs> Fight. And again, Ernest is going to challenge every single round with a button right off the bat, just to make sure Velociraptor does not da uh, dash in. Good counter poke there with the jab. Velociraptor trying, there's a nice time dive kick there. Wasn't able to link that. But, uh, he is he, uh, he's able to get pressure, but he's not able to link after the EX stops. Ooh, oh, jump back. Nice damage. Good there. read off of the V, 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 uh, v skill. Ooh. And that's going to take that round. Yeah. Good, act, good activation, good crush counter. Round Everything two. good there for Velociraptor. Fight. Definitely. Uh, Starting to find a better momentum this this round, this game. Okay, a little bit used to the dive kick too now. Both just jockeying for position. Look at the finish off. Really confirming the EX slap and the EX slashes. Oh no. Got some decent damage, didn't get, the, didn't get the maximum potential, but he was not in the proper spacing to get it. Nice check there. Cancel, that should close out the round. That close does. out the game, too. Closes out that round, makes it 1-1. One, one. Nikali wins. And as convincing as Ernest's first round, first uh, match was, that was just as convincing for Velociraptor. Definitely. Definitely. Round one. So this is going to be a very Fight. telling, uh, telling match between the two because with all the time and effort that uh, Velociraptor has been showing, uh, just trying to bide his time, Crazy EX is not slowing down the pressure. In fact, he's probably, he's probably more heated than the last two rounds didn't go his way. Oh, that's going to be a that's going to be a punish. Go and good activation to V trigger to make sure that he gets a little bit of extra damage off of that uh, owl of the seismo. Oh, that's the conversion. We're, 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 we're more... Still alive, and that V-Trigger is now gone. Oh, jump up with that light kick. Came in with a light kick. Velociraptor was not ready with an anti-air.
Point. And now Ernest is on match point. Did Seismo open off the round? Velociraptor wants those crush counters. Nice check. Good block. Good jab blocking. Good confirm in the super. I, you know, this is going to give him plenty of life lead right now. This is absolutely okay. He can still build up another super if he needs to. But it doesn't look like he's going to need to. Looks like he's just going to be able to close around with some really, really simple. Uh, Simple pressure into a really, really nice time throw. Fight. And now we've got things even up. Last round, last set. Let's Ernest go. does have a full stick of butter. Velociraptor was able to build up a bar out of that uh, after using the super. And Ernest just oh. starting off going off. Oh, that is oh. going to whiff. But it's close to stun. And that was, he bet it all. He bet it all. He definitely did. He's still going to be alive. But oh, not for too much longer, and yeah. Ernest takes it two to one yeah. over Velociraptor. All right, on okay, okay, everyone, this is going to be big, and I'm going to actually step off a of commentary for this one. It's going to be WTF's Yusuf going up against my geek for you. Now, here is the ca here's the caveat. If Yusuf wins, he gets in the top eight. All right, guys, I'm going to step off. I'm going to give it the seven, six, five, three, and have fun. Coming a little high out. What's up, y'all? This is your man, Tubazo. Yo, what's up? This is Reedman on the mic. And like uh, Godsaw was just mentioning, this is a little bit of a run back from last round back because Kevin, with his quote-unquote low-tier Zangief, was able to knock Yusuf in the losers last yeah, yeah. time. Hold on, hold on. Japan thinks Zangief is top five. Top three or oh. top five, though. He oh. is not low tier Zangief in this game. Oh, okay. Okay, I see you, Japan. And they gave him a 40% stun headbutt oh, now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Zang and Troll Zangief is going to be a thing. So, so if, for those of you who don't know, we are live on patch uh, 2.5, whatever you want to call it. So um, you see Guile's got a few minor nerfs. Zangief's got a few minor buffs. I want to see if this is actually going to take into effect in this matchup. Uh, so far, Yusuf's been maintaining control. Just throwing boom, walking Kevin slowly to the corner. But uh, Kevin, with two command grab punishes, makes up the life deficit and gets a lead. Not nah. looking good in terms of the, uh, the screen placement, but Kevin's very fine. Ooh, with with uh, with the with the type of pressure that's been going on so far. Breaks out that V trigger. Okay. Much like uh, much like X Factor, V trigger is a big opportunity to make a comeback. So let's see if Yusuf can even it up a bit. Well, oh, I need to see like an EX something to, uh, after that last boom. To, uh, I love this movement, this movement from uh, Yusuf. Let's see. Yeah, just the last little bit of my thing. And the sweep. Alright, so I like the awareness. I think he did the Lariat because he knew Yusuf was about to pop with his super to try and chip him out if he blocked the blue. But uh, Yusuf, doubly aware, punishes the Lariat with the sweep. Ooh, wait a minute! <laughs> wait a minute! Oh, is stun? Oh! That is a stun. Head ooh, ooh, ooh. That is almost dead. Just one little tap, one little love tap. That's all he needs. This is definitely still doable by Yusuf, but he's, he's still got a, yeah, anytime there's a trade, Zangief will take that trade. Yeah. So as methodical and thought out and as Street Fighter as that last round was, or the round before that, that last round was just all Zangief showing that he's still a force to be reckoned with. Ooh, crush counter. Well, I get it. He recognizes the spacing not not far, not close enough to do a Lariat. So goes for a medium instead. Oh, nice punish on the jump. Gonna come back that super. Nice punish. Uh, it's not actually a punish. So when he does the spin and only lets it go for a little bit, it's actually only minus three. So Guile has no moves that can punish it, but Kevin seems like he was just maybe holding forward afterward. And this is a pretty awful position to be in. Yeah. 
Elusive uh, kind of showed his hand there a few moments ago. Look for the dash throw. Uh, misspaced it, but now Kevin, you can tell Kevin's going to be a lot more aware of that. But it doesn't matter when you just get kicked in the gut. <laughs> so uh, Yusuf takes Dial game one win. over My Geef for You. My Geef for You. Even if Japan thinks Zangief is top tier, uh, Guile versus Geef is still a pretty bad matchup. Historically been pretty bad. Uh, it wasn't until Snake Eyes recently uh, breathed some life in during his uh, Kumite against uh, Knuckle Blue that Geef player somehow uh, got a ray of hope. Ooh, okay. Flash kick. Another throw. Incidentally, that forward throw lost some frame advantage with this patch. Oh! I love that. normal throw, but we're still in range to get that uh, light SPD. Looks like an option select of some sort. Nice, oh, nice, nice punish. Something I don't see I don't see enough players do is challenge the uh, guy with multiple fireballs with projectile and missile moves. If you know he's gonna go for the cancel, there's no reason not to you know, not to whip it out. Going for the crush counter. You can't actually crush counter with Lariat though. Alright, you throw the game point right now. Yeah, uh, I think this is actually a set point, too, because uh, it's not quite top eight yet. Yes, yeah, so this is the uh, entry into top eight. Whoever wins here will get to go into top eight. We'll get to start playing three out of five. But for now, if Yusuf wins this match, he advances and Kevin is out. If you guys were tuning in earlier, you would have seen uh, our own Moss HD local Kami player knocking Yusuf into losers to get himself into top eight. I was next door eating when that was happening. I bet it was hype. It was pretty hype. I know that I'm going to watch the replays. And you know how the best way to watch the replays is to make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, and that you stay tuned whenever uh, UC Campbell uploads all this hype yeah. gaming zone ram bat matches. I believe also Wednesdays, I think. He's, he's always streaming every week, streaming either DOA casuals or KI casuals. So, you know, if you like a lot of variety, you should subscribe to this channel. Definitely. Now with a mess of life lead, Yusuf is sitting pretty uh, that meter though with he He doesn't really have anything he can do in the uh, neutral with meter, right? Uh, no, nah, it's only command grabs really. Yeah. Uh, he's got the running bear grab, which has got about three hits of armor. Ooh! Ooh. I love it. I love it. That's like the Marvel tech. Guile win. Yusuf into top eight. Top eight loser side. So I believe that makes our top eight in winners. Uh, myself. Moss HD, uh, I believe Velocirap, no, Crazy EX, sorry. Crazy EX, yeah. I actually don't know. Oh, well, I'm up next, so Good you know luck. what? I'll let uh, this guy over here. Building the V-trigger at like the Raging River. We are man. Mysterious as the critical yeah, no. You have the voice of an angel. <laughs> <laughs> you know it, you know it. I'll be honest, this is the first time I've seen the character select screen from this angle. It's widened out to give room for the more season two characters than like the past uh, couple of character select screens. I'm really interested to see uh, how it expands from here. Yeah, I'm curious to see who expands it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Round one. Getting in there. Fight. So we're going to see a somewhat different type of guile right now than what you just saw with uh, Yusuf. Because Diego, Diego's other little tag is also known as uh, not only read man, but uh, wake up blocking. So his style of guile is very methodical and very defensive. You won't see a whole lot of uh, aggression and such. Um, given the fact that he's fighting against a cami. Yeah, and he's totally content just to sit back and throw moves and time you out. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really good. Very difficult to get in on. Ooh, good throw. DP, that's going to be some uh, data that Diego's going to remember later. Oh, I don't know what triggered uh, Moss to uh, crank that uh, cannon spike out. 
but man, yeah, I think he was trying to go through a boom. Mm -hmm. Make it, or wait, that was V-Trigger, so it was invincible anyway. So, yeah. Guile now, back to a three-bar V-Trigger. And again, just like you said, he was content to just let the, let the clock be his ally at that point. Everything was in uh, Moss's score two. to try to get that round, uh, to uh, run it back. Diego has the meter resources and life lead, and let's see how he goes with this round. Ooh. Big damage. That's not only going to be big damage this round, it's going to be some emotional damage that win uh, EX Flash Kid. The sets now are three out of five. You have a lot more time to uh, make adjustments, but also a lot more time to overthink. Yeah, definitely. Moss, keeping him in the corner, and right? he's sitting at a range where he's not going to easily jump out. Uh, he can pressure with that medium pin. It's really, really good spacing. But Diego just said, nah, I, I don't like this corner. Let me out. Right. And he's like, get back in the corner. I want to put you in the log. He's getting very close to me. It's a very scary time. Because if you beat Boom, it's a V trigger. Your day just got a whole lot more. Boss with the punish. Ties it up, one round apiece. Final round. Fight. But Diego sitting in full meter. Monster just gets right in there. Decides to let Diego out of the corner. A lot of counter hits, nothing being confirmed. Finally gets to confirm. Diego has pretty much forgot about blocking his nose this round, but Moss unable to capitalize. And that's what he's doing to the third bar. That's what holds it up. Came to him, Moss. Curry wins. So, somewhat long 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 match there but that was only uh round one that was only game fight yeah i still need to win two more to continue on on this finish side he's making good use of the v skill to get mm. so scary you know diego's got that flash yep Ooh, Jimmy. Converts a little bit. I think he's going to use the... Yeah. Oh, very nice timing with the boom there. Diego sitting on exactly where he wants to be. Life lead. Charging boom. Ooh. Unfortunately, Cammy doesn't get anything off that forward there. Not a Thank God she doesn't get anything off that forward. Wow. <laughs> All right. Ross <laughs> Hibble getting a little bit of cheering Fight. from the crowd on his ability to finally confirm a low forward. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That jump strong is really good from Cam. He's a lot of anti-air jabs. Um, Moss is kind of just getting in when he wants. Diego, not his normal self right now. Yeah, he was able to dictate the pace of that last game, but uh, this one's kind of having trouble finding the openings and Moss being able to kind of have his way with them. Okay, nice tech. Away. There's the trigger there. Maybe a little bit more too much respect from Diego in terms of cranking up those rooms. Maybe he thinks that uh, Moss is gonna throw out a critical art to punish it. Yeah, I mean, it's a definite thing, but not anymore. So. Yep. But he still has EX Spiral. Diego has to be super careful. 
And it's a little, it's a little change of, uh, uh, I don't know what I was trying to say, but, <laughs> but now Moss is the one who is keeping the egg alive and using the clock to his advantage. over. Wow. Can we win? All right. Moss takes an early 2-0 lead, but Diego, a very experienced player, has all the uh, brain power it takes to adapt. Let's we'll see if he can do it. Fight! That's what we want. We want to see more balloons and more flashes, just like that. Whoa, challenges it. That's one advantage guy will have. The ability to auto correct like no one else. Yeah, you don't have to worry about the side switch. As long as he's got that charge on that. So that, that situation has changed now. Um, Cammy's DP just got much better, so neutral jumping in the corner Round is two. a little bit more of a risk now. So. Fight. Oh, Diego lets it go. And then Moss says, I have to get my Good pressure by Moss. He's not being phased at all by the flash kick. He's just getting in and out of the world. Trigger activated by both. Text the dash up throw. Oh, the jump in. Why is that standing strong that you're talking about? Yeah, set point from Mark. Uh, Diego has to turn it around right Final now. Round. He's sitting on super, so he can definitely kill Cammy very fast. He's enjoying himself, though. You can hear uh, the banter that's going on. The cat made Tucson, uh, Tucson hype. I mean, Green Man already won the Marvel season, mm -hmm. so it's pretty difficult to make your day bad after that. Oh, definitely, definitely. Same with me and, uh, and Blaze Blue. I just had a blast after playing Marvel and Guilty Gear. Uh, I think I got that. Uh, get that trophy later. Oh, you got it? You yeah. won? Oh. Yeah, for Blaze Blue, yeah. I didn't even know you played that. <laughs> oh, that's my thing. Yeah, that's my main game. Let's let you guys. I still want to check, check out Street Fighter 2 in the simulator, give him a hot shot. Okay, he's going to break out the super there, but it's not going to quite kill. But um, considering that he needs to win this round to stay alive, I think that was a good decision. Good tech. But Moss only really needs one solid touch. Oh, and that was it. That was the set. Diego, unfortunately, unable to close it out. Good for him. Diego shows us that he's still alive. That this, he can bring it back another two games. Both players look extremely happy for having one just lost a <laughs> the story. The story of Nosferatu one. continues. Yeah. Fight. Moss got the peanut gallery behind him. <laughs> Definitely a lot more booms in just this first uh, 10 seconds than a lot of um, the last couple of rounds. So Diego's definitely content to uh, try to dictate the pace here. Gets jumped in on though. Ooh. Whip throw, still able to block. EX back kick. Side slip into the stun. Dashing so he can get a full corner to corner game. Coast to coast. Space goes coast to coast. Ooh. EX, okay. Cancel, V trigger. Ooh, what is the flip kick? It was still uh, jabbed out of. Ooh. Round two. Moss sitting on match point again. Cranks out that EX drill. Ooh, I think that's the uh, jumping roundhouse that uh, canceled out of uh, Diego's V uh, skill. Last up there. All right. Diego on the ropes. Where's the flash? Oh, he didn't do it. Throw 
knows who's uh, boomed out to try to recreate some pressure. Gets jabbed and then scooped. Moss takes it. 3 1. Beautiful set. Uh, there was a few times where it definitely could have went Diego's way, but uh, Moss definitely dictated the pace much more uh, consistently there. Yeah, I know Cami does well against Gal. I wouldn't say she necessarily wins that match, but um, if you have the right reads, the right jump timing, and things like that, like Moss had, uh, it's very difficult because you get afraid to throw booms, and then you just don't look like Guile anymore. 